Hello. Today we're going to be reviewing a uh, outside the waistband holster from Border Town Holsters. Who am I? My name's Adam, and I used to make Kydex holsters for a living, which gives me a unique sense of pride when it comes to Kydex holsters. Make sure you like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there's some holsters you want to see. First thing we're going to check is the retention. Let's give her a flip upside down and see if shit works. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. With no blocking on this side, it will retain and eat your holster up. There's a bar on here. It comes as a set. Why wasn't it used? Got a great pullout. Let's look at this lump here. Okay, uh, that's a little bit of rampy for me for a front sight. As you can tell, this is for a Glock based on its takedown lever and how it differs here from the Palmetto Dagger. And now we're using the light as a main retention point, uh, kind of like a no-no. It comes with a bar. Why not use it on the front side? Here is a cutout that's done when the Kydex puckers, when you're pressing it. It's an interesting way of handling that. And we're looking at some controls that aren't blocked. Let's look at the outside edge. Looks pretty shiny. That's a good thing. We have Bravo wings here. And I would put a rubber spacer between there because these aren't really flexible. And it's just going to cause extra wear on these attachment points. And here's where the gripes come in. All right. We have a holster made for a Glock in OD green. This, based on the pictures I have taken from the Border Town Holsters Facebook page that shows they are completely capable of doing the appropriate blocking, it equates to laziness. A quick shipping time should never be a reason to compromise fantastic work. I often equate my view on other holsters as people look at comedians. Those are the toughest people to make laugh. Holster makers are the toughest people to impress if you do not check all the marks. This holster does not do that. As capable as Border Town Holster is, as much as they want to include swag to include and not limit it to an air freshener, I would like you to take a little bit more time perfecting your holster. To just totally nitpick, now that we've gone down this path, I enjoy my holster lines following the slide of whatever firearm I'm creating. It makes it a cleaner look. The thumb area here, totally eating it up. Going to really enjoy that after round 200 of a range day. But hey, at least I can still access my enlarged magazine release. Typically, you can put some glue at the bottom of your holster. But because the retention is so stout, it's probably a good thing they didn't so I could actually get this thing out of here. This is by far not the worst holster I've seen. Will it do its job? Yes, it will. Can Border Town holsters do better? Absolutely. 10% more effort would get you something that all of the PSA Dagger Facebook pages claim you to be worthy of. Perform for us. Give each customer what they want. This isn't a dig at your company. I'm just saying, as a man who's done it before, there are things that you can do better. My official rating on this holster, 6 out of 10. Okay, uh, Coloration, great. Retention, clocking, requires a little of attention. Finishing, slide lines. Lacking. Cut out for the light. Don't know why you're doing that. I get it. It puckers. But we'll go ahead and get that fixed. You know, you can always figure out ways to make it look more presentable. Border Town Holsters, I'm calling Border Patrol so we can get this holster deported. If you enjoyed this content, please like subscribe leave a comment down below of who you'd like to see me go after next we the people i'm just gonna let you know low hanging fruit i ain't gonna do it all right anyone then <laughs>
one of the gun tubers has shilled for. I won't be touching because if they're being shilled for, we already know they're crap. Have a great rest of the day. Remember, be safe and always press check. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.